Hey guys, Coach Josh Gary here, and today we're going to talk about a little known thing uh, as far as having uh, a professional wrestling ring and a canvas and the correct way to tie down. Now, I see a lot of people using these S-hook bungees to tie down their canvas, and I see it done all manner of ways, and there's some ways that are better than others. So let me go ahead and take you my 25 years of professional wrestling and owning a ring for over 15 years, some of the things that I've learned about using these S-hook bungees to strap down your canvas. Now, if you're using the bungees with the S hook like this, if you see how they're shaped S and they've got this little dangerous piece, when you hook them, you want to make sure that your hooks are facing outboard. The reason being is, is if somebody were to fall out of the ring, they would slide by them and they would slip right off. If you had it facing the other way with the hook end, they would come down and jab. I've actually seen that happen on events where people get stabbed by this outward facing hook. So if you're gonna use these, make sure that you use them outboard as such, and you wanna have them go straight up and down. The reason you wanna have them straight up and down is because you want to pull on that grommet. Those grommets will actually get popped out if it has force in, in another direction, right? So you wanna have it straight up and down like this, all the tension pulling down on the side rail of the ring. And this is, again, if you're using the S-hook bungees. Now, the reason that we use them straight up and down is because, as you can see, this one is strapped under the side rail and then over to that grommet, and it actually pulls it to the side. This will actually pop the grommet out of your canvas if you leave it this way. And then also, like we talked about, to make sure you're orienting the hook outward. This also creates danger coming off the apron to the floor. You can scrape on that. So if you have it straight up and down, creates less chance for injury. Guys, I hope you found this video informative. I know there's a lot of different ways to tie down a canvas. Some ways work better than others. You'll see a lot of places use uh, rope or string or the uh, traditional bungees that have a closed in loop. Um, but this is one that I see a lot on the independent scene using these S hooks because they're easy to get at Home Depot, Lowe's, Hardware, wherever you may find them, you can get them in bundles. And so I see them done a lot in safety first in professional wrestling, right? It's already dangerous enough as it is. So this isn't the only way to do it, but it is the most effective, safest, and most efficient way that I've seen to use these S hook bungees to attach a canvas to a professional wrestling ring. Uh, I appreciate you guys watching. Definitely feel free to subscribe. You want to click over there to uh, see any of my previous videos, go ahead and click on over there to subscribe. And uh, social media, email, all that stuff down there. If you have any questions, definitely feel free to hit me up. See you later, guys.